I was seated in the office of my high school counselor. You're just not college material, dear, but no worries. You're a cute girl. You should have no trouble at all finding a husband. You should learn a trade. Have your family. Get married. It'll all work out fine. Fine? Who the hell wants fine? Those words were so painful to hear and crushing, but then they stayed with me for almost 20 years. Traditionally, I was supposed to make my first communion, get married, hopefully to a Hispanic Catholic guy, <laughs> finish high school. Well, maybe I should finish high school first and then get married to the Hispanic Catholic guy, <laughs> have my family stay close to home. But family expectations and cultural traditions I felt were conspiring to block my growth and it became uncomfortable. But I did finish high school, barely. Check. I did learn a trade, check. I did marry the Hispanic Catholic guy, check. But then I could see my whole life laying out in front of me and it didn't feel right and it didn't feel fine. And it made me think, I want something more. I want something different. I want something juicy. And I panicked. And on my second wedding anniversary, I toasted him and I said, happy anniversary, I want a divorce. <laughs> I abandoned everything to craft, craft my own path and set my own first. Okay, first, in the, first divorce in the family, check. I eventually remarried to Thomas and he was headed to graduate school and it got me thinking maybe I should go to university but then nobody in my family had ever been to college and my high school counselor's words were still nagging at me and then what direction would I take? I mean, you know, I had been a welder and a manicurist. What, 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 what direction do I take? I mean, I always felt creative but don't you have to at least draw to be an artist? So instead of going into art school to learn how to draw, I went to art history and I loved it. And at the age of 40, I finished my bachelor's degree in art history. First in the family, check. My sweet father and mother came to my graduation in Chicago and my dad says to me, why in the world do you want to be in a sorority now at your age? And he would have been right, except it was Phi Beta Kappa. It was the honor society, not a sorority, After another move to Chicago, from Chicago to Milwaukee, I got into art education, and that was a terrible failure for me, but I had to start taking my studio courses, and I took painting, sculptures, and ceramics, and that was it. I loved it. And just like Steve Martin in the movie, The Jerk, I found my special purpose. <laughs> I quickly got together a portfolio, and I got into graduate school, and at the age of 46, I finished my master's degree. First of the family, check. So I was continuing with my thesis work, and I was using symbolism and imagery to craft my large-scale narrative ceramic sculptures. And I was doing it kind of intuitively, letting things kind of evolve organically, wear a headset to block any noise, any contrivances, overthinking. At least I thought I was doing that. But I realized soon that I was, the same images were coming up over and over again. Images like bones and branches and hearts and wings. And I realized I was crafting my own symbolic vocabulary. And with that vocabulary, I was craft, I was informing the work. And I was informing the work with the same cultural traditions that I was pushing back from so many years ago. And instead of finding it limiting and stifling, it was now a deep well of creative, in, creative inspiration. <sighs> it's amazing, those, those, life, those life lessons, they just keep circling around until you get it. My work was telling stories about history and family and ancestry and memory. And instead of thinking about it as something negative, my work was now letting me circle around reconnect and embrace and celebrate my past. 
a story of history. In Las Cuentistas, the two sisters on two separate continents lean towards each other to share their secrets, while the bones of their ancestors are tossed in a rough sea. I imagine my ancestors moving from Spain to the New World. A story of family. In El Susuro, the breath, the lungs, the breath that you get from your family, your first breath. My father and me on the right, his parents on the left. And hidden in the surface are the words in Hebrew, family and love. A story of ancestry. In stigma, the female wears a dress crafted of branches, like a family tree, and her dress is carved with a poem in Hebrew by a 16th century Spanish poet. And the dress partially covers the skin pressed deep with Catholic saint imagery. A story of memory. Christmas memory is about the time that my parents and I were at the Taos Pueblo for Christmas Eve. And if you've never been there, it's one of those events that just hits you on every, every sense. Virgin Mary being processed from the church, the women from the Pueblo singing behind her, the giant smoky bonfires, the rifle blasts, and the Matachina dancers. It's a particularly important memory for me because it's the last time my parents and I were together at Taos Pueblo. It turns out after all this time that these works that I'm doing are kind of like the children I never had and like a lot of children, just when you think you're teaching them, you find they're teaching you right back. And this, with this work, I've been able to really think, why did I spend that, so much time thinking about that all as negative? when now it really is a positive thing. And it's a beautiful thing when one of my creative kids goes out into the world because it means that I've put my story out there. It's my culture, my heritage. And yet somebody with a possibly very different cultural background has related to the imagery and accepted it and embraced it as I have. You know when you sell a work of art, have you ever seen that? They put that red dot on it. Hello, red dot, yeah. That red dot is a powerful symbol. And to me, it represents the cycle of life. La sangre de mi familia. And a red hot flame of continuing creative passion and energy. Thank you. <laughs>